Oh, hello. This video is going to be kind of a different one. I have a lot of holiday baking to do this week. I am making a few different things for a few different events this week. I'm just going to be baking all week. I thought maybe this could be fun to just watch. I'm going to be making a lot of stuff that I have already shared. Those are the most delicious ones. But if I do have anything different, I will make sure to let you know but I'll link everything down below in the description. This first thing I'm making, I have a work thing tomorrow that I completely forgot about, so I'm trying to make something that I can just know how to make because I also have an appointment in a bit, um, so I have to like get going, and that's cookies. These are my ride or die, always go-to cookies, BA's Best Chocolate Chip Cookies from Chris Morocco perfect every time. Ideally, I'd like to have these in the freezer overnight, but they'll have a few hours to just like, you know, harden up and I will bake them later. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy watching me bake all the goods. All done for now. These go in the freezer until I am ready to bake them. See? Super simple. Much too good for children. Several hours later, hard. I'm just gonna throw these on a baking sheet, pop them in the oven. Also, do you want to see the cutest thing? Someone got a haircut. Look how cute she is. It came out kind of funny this time, real flat. I don't know what I did wrong, but they smell incredible and I'm sure they will taste just fine. I think it was the flour, I measured it wrong. I didn't scoop, I poured it into the measuring cup so I feel like that was off, but they are perfectly fine. Oof, I can't wait to eat these tomorrow, unfortunately. Cookies went over very well today at work. I just got home from work now, tomorrow for another work event I'm going to make some goodies and also I want something fast because I am tired I want to cook dinner and like go to bed but I'm gonna make that I call it my Christmas crack um, but it's like whatever holiday you want to make I just don't want to say that I'm making crack you know it doesn't sound right so it's that saltine toffee chocolate concoction and to make it Christmassy, I'm gonna put some sprinkles on there and it's just gonna be perfection. It's also super easy to make, super fast.
This is my favorite part. Make sure everything gets covered. Don't mind my dinner cooking over there. These I'm gonna pop in the freezer until they are completely hard frozen through. And then I just break them up into little pieces and I'm gonna package them up and bring them to work tomorrow. Oh yeah, baby. These little bits that fall off are like always the best little snacks. Some just break naturally like this. Like this is a perfect little piece and some I have just cut in squares, but this is basically how I break it up. There we go. I am all chopped up. I'm gonna wrap this up in some plastic wrap, but I am ready to go for tomorrow. These can stay out at room temperature, or you can pop them back in the fridge. I would probably let them come back to room temperature before you let people eat them so they're not as hard but they're really good right now anyway. So like beware because this is addictive. The bark went over exceptionally well. Everyone loves that recipe. You have to make it. Now I'm coming into the home stretch. I have a few things to make for a family party this weekend and I'm getting started tonight. I'm making more cookies to throw in the freezer so I can just have that done and ready to bake when I need to. I'm not gonna show me making them again because it's the same exact recipe, BA's best chocolate chip cookies, but this time I am making them chocolate peanut butter. And unfortunately, I thought that I had some chocolate bars left. I'm gonna make do with what I have. And I'm gonna be using just some chocolate chips that I'm gonna actually chop up because I think that might make the situation a little better because I really don't like whole chocolate chips in cookies. And these are the peanut butter chips. These are the only peanut butter chips you should be using. This combination makes these cookies taste like that uh, cereal Reese's Puffs in a cookie. It's, it's good. Tomorrow I'll get the rest of the baking out of the way and also the next day. And then I'm done for this week. Let's make some cookies. <laughs> These are the cookies. These came out way better than my other batch. I measured the flour correctly this time. So these are going in the freezer until I want to bake them. This just takes so much. What? <laughs> this takes a lot of pressure off of my time in the next couple of days onto the next. I am doing my final bits of baking for the week, even though it's not really bit, it's a lot of baking. I'm baking off the cookies that I made the other day in the freezer so that that's all taken care of. Right now, I'm gonna start making my ginger molasses cookies. So delicious. I have a video on that, I'll link below, but I'll also put the recipe down in the description. These cookies are rolled cookies, so they get that nice crackle on top, so this is white sugar. This is never in like any recipe I see, but I do it anyway because it takes it to another level. And if you know me, you already know what I'm gonna say. I like to add a pinch of salt, kosher salt just in here, and even just that pinch really, really just like does something to it. There's a little tip for you. Last thing I am making for this week, I am making a cake. Very semi-homemade. I do not feel like making a whole homemade cake. It's not the time for that. I wanna like sit down. So I'm using my favorite box cake. This is a Betty Crocker, it's chocolate fudge. It is delicious. I don't care what you say, box cake is just fine. So I wanted to kind of like 
make it a little more Christmassy. And when I think of Christmas, I think of one thing automatically, and that is a Terry's chocolate orange. These things right here, they're so good. Chocolate and orange is delicious, but like these are something else. So I'm gonna try to make like a fun Terry's chocolate orange cake. I'm just gonna make like the actual cakes tonight and I will assemble and make some frosting tomorrow. So well, let's make some cake. Let them eat cake. I will eat this cake. That was all the instruction for the box, but since I wanna jazz it up a bit, orange, I'm gonna zest this in here. My problem now is I don't know if this will make three eight inch cakes. And I really like the look of three layers in a cake. I could do two eight inch and a six inch and that might look kind of fun. These things are amazing. If you bake a lot, perfectly cut parchment paper is like serious baking porn for me. I mean, come on. These are gonna be real thin layers. Ugh. Maybe I'll just do two. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Tap the bubbles out. I'm gonna pop these in there until a skewer comes out just clean. I usually like it a little under because of the carryover cooking and you do not want a dry cake. My cakes are out of the oven. They are cooling. Once they have cooled completely, I'm gonna wrap them in some plastic wrap and tomorrow they will be all ready to assemble and frost and look delicious. Let's make some buttercream. Very important to scrape down your sides. Also, you should always sift your powdered sugar. It makes such a difference when you're making buttercream and I add it in batches because if you add it all at once, it's gonna go everywhere and it's a little more difficult to incorporate. A little bit of buttercream on the bottom so nothing slides around. I'm really wishing now that I had done three cakes so I'm gonna work with what I got. And I usually cut off the cake humps, like the tops, um, but since I want more height, I'm gonna work with what I got. She's looking like a hot mess right now, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna try to fix some things and this might just end up looking real rustic. <laughs> I'm gonna play around a little bit. I hope that I don't regret this. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a, a chocolate moment down the sides here. I think my chocolate's too thick, but um, it's fine. I'm just gonna let it fall where it falls. I am gonna use one of my chocolate oranges to decorate, so I might as well take it apart. You have to bang them like that so you can get all the sections out. I saw a video the other day of someone eating it like an apple. I wanted to die. I feel like I ruined it with the oranges all around. Now it doesn't look as pretty, but it's fine. Top it off with just a little bit of sea salt. And there's my cake. How exciting is that? Oh, it's so pretty and festive. More sprinkles. I am officially done my baking for the week. That is it for me this week. I'm getting ready to head out to my party. 
Hopefully the desserts go over well. I can't imagine they wouldn't, they know I made them. But I hope you enjoyed this week of baking with me. Hopefully you got some sort of inspiration. You will be seeing this before Christmas. Any last minute ideas? Here you go. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.